In this video we're going to look at a Python function that has no arguments and actually doesn't return any values either. So far in this playlist we've looked at these types of functions here. Ones that have return values, input arguments and return values after there's been an input argument. What we're going to do in this video is look at this type of function here. A function that's called but it has no arguments i.e. no input parameters and it doesn't return anything. It just carries out a particular function whatever that may be. Here we can see an example of such a function. Let's have a look at the header. We can see that it starts off with the reserve word def. It finishes the line with the colon here. The name of the function is copyright underscore display. And here we can see we have the brackets and there's nothing inside the brackets. Now that tells us that this particular function takes no input parameters. When you call this, you'll be calling it without any arguments. If you look here, you can see this is the code of the function indented. Now, clearly this function doesn't do much. It's simply a copyright displayer. So if you decide to call this function, what it's going to do is output the strings that you can see in front of you written in green. Here, what we can see is the call to this particular function. So when this program executes, what's going to happen this is going to be the call to the function so this executes first we then go to here to execute this line then this line and so on and if you look at the actual call obviously the name is the same as this name here but look at the brackets there's nothing inside the brackets and that's because this particular function does not have any input parameters. If you also inspect the function, you should note that there is no return statement anywhere in the function. In other words, this particular function doesn't return any values. So when this particular program executes, what we're going to see at the output is this here. And if you look, you can see that obviously this calls the function, and the first line of the function is this one, and it sends this particular string to the screen as you can see here then this print well that's going to send this line space this line is going to output the string the development team R, as you can see here this print is going to send out this line space here and these print statements output these names as you can see and finally this statement outputs this line space here and of course, when you finish executing this print statement, what happens is you return to the main body of the program, which is here. And of course, there's no lines of code there, so the program ends. So what we've seen here is a function that does not have any input parameters, and it doesn't return any values either. And therefore, when you call this particular function, you don't call it with any arguments and you don't expect it to return anything because it's not been set up to receive any input parameters and it hasn't got a return statement in the code to allow you to return values. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.